Hello, this is Samuel from Action Figure Fury, and today I bring a review of the Star Wars Black series, Cara Dune figure. This is from, of course, the Mandalorian TV series, which is making a lot of waves on the Disney Plus service. Unfortunately, here in the UK and other parts, well, we've got to wait till the end of the March to see it. I've heard nothing but great things about it, and I know that um, Gina Carano's character here, Cara Dune, appears in the fourth episode of the series. So far, I'm not too sure if she makes any other appearances. I'm, I'm probably bound she does because they made a character poster but I have to say this is an excellent looking figure and I'm really really looking forward to this in the series you know I've heard great things about it but I'm really really looking forward to it and this figure is absolutely exceptionally really 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 good if I bring this in I'll have a little play around with this figure before I'm um, reviewing it here now um, as you can see the likeness to Gina Carano is fantastic you can really see that there look at that that does look exactly like her. And even got the little, you can see it on the face. That's the small rebel tattoo. Which is really, really cool. The you know the Re you know the rebellion logo. Uh, that's there. You can it doesn't really show up well too on camera, but when you look at hand, you can definitely see it's that. And it's such was so well done. How they managed to get such a tiny detail like that on her face is incredible. The hair looks really, really good as well. Really like how they've done that. Very, very unique. See the other side there, the profile looks really, really good. I really am impressed with this figure. The likeness is outstanding to Gina Carano, so I'm really, really happy with that. The detailing on the armor is great. I like the, uh, the battle damage on the top here, this armor here, and you've got this mesh here, and straps and stuff. Really, really nice armor. It came out absolutely excellent of course in this side we've got a tattoo the slight little problem my one there it's not really an issue no problem with that I do like the armor and i do like the gauntlets as well she's got on really really cool those gloves are nice as well this figure came out absolutely excellent got a little belt here with the blaster pistol this does move up and down by the way nice detailing on there nothing on the back you got more some of the detail on the back here Got a strap here. Got a, a, a harness here with the holster attached to it, which is really, really good. The pistol fits in there very well. No problem with that. And she's got some more of that. Um, show the other side there. About damage on the gauntlets here. Pretty nice. You've got this, um, these pants. Got these, then again, you've got some texture work on here. You've got some mesh stuff. Really nice. And some paneling. and Really good. I do like, I do like the shin guards as well. I do like the, you know. They've added a lot of battle damage to so these make these figures a little more worn looking, a bit more realistic, which I do like a lot. I do like the boots as well. The simplistic boots, but they're really, coming out really, really nice. So she's got a, a panel. I'm not too sure this is a like ammo canisters or grenades. not too sure. They are. I don't know if it's in the series yet, so don't much know the point of those yet. But I have to say, really, really do like it. And of course, on the back of it, she's got a collar on the neck, which is great. Overall, I am really, really impressed with this figure. The likeness is great, the paint is absolutely fantastic, aside the little glitter, little arrow with the arm. This is a phenomenal looking figure. As you can see, I've got her holding her, well, all her accessories, you've got the pistol here, I'll show it in great detail in a moment. The uh, big uh, blaster rifle here, because then I do know that she was a heavy gunner in, during the rebellion, so it makes sense for her to have a, a large gun, and it does look really good, i show it in the detail, and a knife. Um, what I do like about this rifle is um, you can detach it the, the strap so you can just like pick it off so you know if it so makes it easier to take the weapon out you know put it in there out of her hands or you can have it strapped over her back if i strapped on the back if you want to but I'll, um i've taken the accessory out of her hand so you can have a let's get gina carano yeah just get cara doing stand she stands very very well i don't have any problem with her at all once you get her feet planted properly um you guys see it i've um, got some nice detail on this weapon it always has a struggle, my character. I don't want to focus on weapons too much. There you are. You can see I've got a bit of paint here. You've got some brown, uh, dull uh, brain. Also, you've got some little bit of wear and tear here. Well, probably she's been firing the gun a lot. Which looks really nice. A bit of hair as well. It's not it's not part of the moulding or anything. It's the same on the other side as well. You've got some ammo. Uh, canisters here. Really, really nice looking weapon overall. And like I said earlier, this just... Um, pegs I prefer to peg on the top because it's easy to do you go like that you can have it pegged uh, you can have it uh, over a shoulder so you can just go like that 
like so. Just put her over her back like that, so she's got it hard like that, so she can carry it around like that if you want to, if you so desire. Which is nice. Um, she also comes with this knife as well. Let's try to get her standing again. This is the knife. See the detail. This is quite nice. This little knife here. It's got a little hand, little hilt, you know, little handle. And it's for some reason, my camera has a hard time trying to focus. There we are. There. There we are. You see, you got that there. Got a knife, and she can hold this in that hand because there. There's no trigger finger there, so it's more of a. Um, with a knife hand either in the upwards or downwards motion if you want to. And I was wondering where you can store it. I had a bit of trouble with this myself because when I saw promo images of this figure online, it's that it, the weapon was stored in her boot. I thought, I looked on the, you know, the boot and I think there's no sheath there. But if you look very, very closely, it's a bit hard to see in here. But there is a slight little gap, a little raised area in the boot. You can see it just there when I'm pointing my finger. You can store the knife in there. The best way to do it is probably to bend the knee. So you can get access to the sheath better, then you can just stick it. Be gentle with it though, and it goes going like that. So she actually does have storage for her knife, which is great, which is very subtle. But I was wondering, like, you know, she had the knife in the boot, where, where is the sheath for that? And yeah, it's on her, it's in the boot, which is really, really clever. So she can store all her weapons on her, which is great. I do love that, you know, with the uh, thing when you have weapon storage on them. So I'm really impressed with that. A gun there. She also comes with this blaster pistol. Um, I will take it out of the uh, holster. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than the uh, rifle. Right this is probably one of the smallest blasters I've seen for the uh, Black Series line, probably along with the Scout Trooper pistol. Um, this the detailing is absolutely nice. You can see he's got a, got a paint on the handle there, a nice little um, scope, really nice detailing on it. She does have a little bit of trouble getting it in her hand. Um, I think because it's such a small weapon, you can get it in there. Like so, yeah, that fits a little bit better. So you can go get some uh, one-handed poses out of it. You can have even having the knife in the other hand. It's a nice little weapon and she holds it very, very well, but I prefer to have the larger weapon. That's more iconic, but it's nice that she comes with it. And it's sort of the holster as well also has a, um, a strap, so you can just easily peg put the weapon in the holster it goes in no problem you make just make sure you've got the scope above the holster you know in front of the holster so you don't want to uh damage it anyway because it's quite a delicate weapon so you just make sure it's over like that and you, yes it goes in so see so the holster, this part of the scope goes out then you just uh peg it back in place so holds the weapon very very well I'll take the gun off her back and put it in her hand at a minute. And that's all the accessories she comes with. That's all I really, she really needs because I haven't seen the TV episode so far. So uh, I don't know what else she uses. But I'd say they're in a very impressive array of accessories. And what's great as well is she can also holster them on her person. Uh, sorry for my reflection. That's the sun coming in through the window. How irritating. Hold on a second. That's all right now. The uh, sun's gone down. Sorry about that, folks. I don't know why that happened. But, um... As you can see, the accessories are great, just as I said mentioned before. Really, really nice accessories. Happy with those. Now, onto the articulation. Um, Cara Dune has a ball joint in the head. Slightly hindered by her hair on one side, but that's, you know, part of the design. Not really a problem. She's also got a ball joint in the bottom of the neck, which is subtle, so you can move it down like that. But you can see it just there, just slightly moving. You can see it, which is really nice. She's got a ball joint here. So you can get leaner left, all right, forward quite far, back quite a bit, which is nice. Uh, no waist swivel, then again she doesn't really need it. Um, in the arms you've got ball joints, which are slightly hindered by the armour, but not too much. You're not going to get your arms too raised, but... Oh, okay, okay, you get quite a range there, it's quite nice. There's no uh, bicep swivel. Uh, she's got single jointed elbows, but you can get a good range, good range there. Does swivel as well, which is nice. On this wrist here, it has the in and out motion. So it goes in like that, out like that. Also rotates too, which is great. On this hand here, it's up and down. 
So I guess that's more for the gun, which is great. You know, it's really nice when Hasbrook did that for the gun wielding hands. Up and down motion is perfect. Uh, she has ball jointed hips. She goes you know, forward quite a bit. But again, if you can raise the belt just a little bit to actually, which is great. The belt is movable, so that's not a problem. You can go forward a little, quite a bit, back quite a bit, out quite well. She's also got a swivel at the thigh. So readjust that belt. It can be a little irritating this belt, but you know once you get in the right position, um, looks good. Uh, she's also got double jointed knees, which I just you know it's rated earlier when I showed off when you put the knife in her boot so she goes pretty far back like that which is really really cool uh, no nothing in the boot uh, and she's got ankle rocket ankles so they go up on the hinge up and down rotate as well really nice except really nice articulation so the articulation of this figure is near nine perfect for a black series figure works really really well I have no complaints at all with the articulation or the accessories the sun sorry the sun like keeps coming in again it's a problem this time of year in the winter. Uh, anyway, uh, back to the review. Um, really happy with this figure overall. It's a fantastic looking figure. The likeness is great. The articulation is great. The paint's really good. The accessories are fantastic. Uh, from a really cool looking character from the Mandalorian TV series, which I'm very excited to see. She looked great on the shelf accompanying the Mandalorian figure. I definitely need to get some more figures from the Mandalorian, which is the other uh, the droid. I forgot his name. Um, at a moment also the heavy infantry Mandalorian which I would love to get if I can find it here in the UK get my hands on it because I couldn't really have any luck in the US finding it anyway I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoy this review guys there's plenty more Star Wars content to come <laughs> in December guys you know in my whole video I got a lot more Star Wars figures to review so expect a lot more Star Wars content and there's some more some other little bits here and there as well anyway guys please like share and subscribe and bye for now